Well, we're uh, making some progress though, so round seven. I don't know what to think about this one. I haven't actually fought many of these guys, so um, the ones I have fought are annoying as crap though, so we'll, uh, we'll see. At least they give me a big arena. Oh yes, the Great Tangus. I hate fighting the Great Tangus. I hate fighting them. I really do. Because they seem to have their own little um, bunch of attacks. And I find it very hard to consistently dodge many of them. And when you hit them enough, you tick them off. They change form. And then I suggest running like mad for a while. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, he's low enough I can do a regular combo on him. That's kind of nice. Okay, what a cheese from across the freaking map. Not much you can do to dodge that one, really. Just run. Are you low enough I can hit you? And now he's gone higher again. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Wind! And now he's ticked off again. Back to what I was doing. Got my level of godhood back. A level of godhood back. And both Tengus down. Now we're not actually fighting two, we're fighting five. Which means now we get to fight another three. Yeah, dang it! all quit attacking me for like three seconds while I can actually have a chance to run in and attack this one. Yeah, you in the back. And I got a level of Godhood back. Good for me. And now he's ticked off. And now I lost my level of Godhood. I'm running like mad. Where's the one that I ticked off? You're over there. Okay, keep calm mind, keep calm mind. Oh, come on! It runs around the outside ring of the arena? What's up with that? And of course, I can't tell where the crap the wind was on, was on the ground. And you're not the one I'm trying to attack. Neither are you, so where's the crap is the one I was trying to attack? I guess it's you. No, it wasn't you either, for Pete's sake! You have no time to react to the quit-
Just let me kill one, please. Alright, thank you. I could use Gale Storm to cancel that out, I assume. And I can't tell what the crap the other one's doing. Thank you, camera. And now he's ticked off, Joyce. Would you mind not getting ticked off? Just for a little while. Okay, they do two attacks, he goes back to normal. Oh, please die, don't go invincible again. I will kill you. Okay, just one. One ain't, one ain't so bad. Come back. Oh, crap. Thank you. Five Tengus down. And, and since they're floating in the air, I can't exactly... Oh, crap. Since they're floating in the air, I can't even use my stray beads to get my stuff back. Okay, we've, uh... We did that, though. We got, uh, we got that. Get some life back. Get a little bit of life back. Um, yeah. Okay, this is seven rounds, seven rounds, so three rounds left. And I'd also like to add that these last three rounds, uh, the last three rounds are where this demon gate stops fooling around. So yeah, if I've been having a hard time up until now, I don't want to go through that gate. I, I, I just, I don't want to go through it. I don't want to do it. Um, I've got to, though, if I'm getting this stray bead. The things I do for you people. The things I do for you people. Uh, back to the golden lucky cat. Ah. <sighs> Okay, you know what? This round isn't as bad as the next round, so I've got that to look forward to, I guess. So... Go through the gate and quit, quit prolonging it any longer! Yep! Yep! Waka. Two walkas at once, in fact. And that's not the half of it, actually. Oh, Pete for Pete's sake. I don't even know what's hitting me, to be honest. I'm just kind of getting hit. Actually, this may not be so bad if I keep it ranged. Because that'll knock him back and stun him. I don't think I've hit you yet, though. No, I haven't. So it's the other one of you that I want to keep my eye on. God dang it! What's the range on that sword? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I think I have a level of godhood now. If 
fact, I should probably stop beating on him because the other guy's probably about to kick the crap out of me. Oh, for Pete's sake, a roll hurts me? Really? Really? He dodged to one side. What I'm aiming for. Yay, one walk it down. And when he dies, he's replaced by Nobody! Nobody! Oh, joyous. I want my godhood back. I want my godhood back. Slow time from the start, but oh well. Actually, I may be okay to just attack him outright. No, that's gonna be a bad idea. Joyous. I see it, kinda. I want my godhood back. I want my godhood back. He got my godhood back. Okay, so I'm at least back to where I started this fight now. I'm I didn't lose anything against them. I'm doing I'm feeling pretty good about that. I really shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have killed him. Shouldn't have killed him. Because now we're fighting Rao. I should have waited until I had some ink back. Spamming that attack anytime now. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. If I can kill one, if I can kill just one of you, I, he I heard bad things. I wasn't fast enough to stop the source from spawning. Crap, swords. Sword, 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 sword. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Both of you together? Let's say. Okay, you're the one that I was beating on. Just one of you go down. One of you go down. Oh, thank you. Okay, 
Give me a little bit of ink back. And I'm doing pretty good for myself. Crap. Full life, full godhood. Don't care about time. Round seven completed. Next up, round eight. Round eight. It's gonna be a lot like round seven. Really? Only... Or, uh, no, or, uh, no, round eight complete, round nine. Round nine is, uh, gonna be a lot like round eight. Only, only harder, so. Full life, full godhood. Ready to go. Still got my adrenaline pumping, so, off we go. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Now, Waka here. He threw a sword. Where the crap is the sword? I hit Rao with Waka's sword! That didn't right. Now, um... Technically, the uh, best plan of action here is to take out Waka. Since you have... Shoot, 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 shoot! The best plan of action here is to take out Waka, since, um... Yeah, dang it, let me move! Since he'll go down easier than Rao will. But at the same time, you have to fight not two Rao's, but three Rao's. So, if I can kill one Rao, then worst case scenario, this is going to be like the previous fight. And the reason I'm focusing on round now... ...is because... ...is because Waka is easier to... Waka's attacks are easier to dodge than Rao's. God dang it. You know what? While I'm at it... Blocking my freaking attack! Actually, you know what? It probably is better to take out the Wakas than, um... the Rao's, because if memory serves, you're only ever fighting two of them at once. One Rao down! I'd like my godhood back, if at all possible. Two for one, maybe I'll get a lot of, uh... Maybe I'll have a better chance of getting stuff back from the... No, 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 what I wanted to do! I'm actually shaking right now, to be honest. Which is uh, why I'll occasionally do something stupid like that. Where is he? You know what, don't care. This is exceedingly draining on my ink here. 
I'm, uh, I'm gonna get a little Link back. I'm gonna get a little Link back. Which means not even knocking your swords back. It means just running away for a second. Feeling pretty good about myself, though. Feeling pretty good about myself. I'm, uh, not doing half bad. Oh, very nice. And I got all my godhood back, too. Ha ha ha! that other walk is going to land, but I'm going to do as much damage as I can before he does. You know what? I'm getting some ink back. i got half a second to stop and think. And I'm killing Rao again. You know what? I'm just gonna kill Waka. No, maybe I can, maybe I will kill Rao, because Waka is still easier to dodge, and even if I have to fight two of them at once... Yeah, dang it. Even if I kill two of them at once, if I kill this Rao, or if I kill Waka, then um, another Rao will spawn. Yeah, dang it! What hit me? all day long and dodge walk his sword is unlike what one would assume I can actually pay attention to what's going on in the background kind of oh come off it Walka. Oh, Walka's leaping through the air. With the greatest of ease. I don't care where Walka lands, I want to kill Rao very, very badly. Ha ha! Rao dead. Now we just have Walka and a Rao. Now this Waka I'm killing first. Come on, Waka. Throw your sword at me. Bugger all! I can't hear anything either! Taking some hits, taking some hits. Still alive, still doing fine. And the other side of Waka here. I have no idea what just happened there, but uh, Waka's apparently up and swinging. He's almost dead though, so I got that going for me. No, 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 no. God dang it. I totally hit that. Die, 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 die. Yay! It's just me and you! I got plenty of ink, I don't know why I'm not bothering to slow time with that. Now 
Now, um, in the original fight, that was something you actually tried to get her to go into. I was never certain how to get her to do it. But, um, if you knew, saw it coming... You know what? I'm getting, um, I'm getting Godhood back. I'm getting Godhood back. Not what I had in mind. Oh, come on! I'm trying to get Godhood back. That's the opposite of getting Godhood back. Got one level back. All right, got Godhood back. Um, abababa. I also don't like using the beads because they don't stun the enemy, whereas if I can actually get off a couple of hits on her close range, it'll knock her down or something. In fact, it's usually that that lets... Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! That lets me get that out of her, which is a very nice little stun there. Row down. Round nine down. Don't care about time. Took some damage, don't care. Okay, you know what? Um. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Feeling pretty good about myself. That was round nine. We only have one round left. One single round left. I've used barely any items, so at this point, I don't care. I will spam every item I have to get through this next round. Oh boy. I'm still trying to reserve myself to, um... Because my policy when I'm playing is not to use items. And the reason for that is because I know I have a limited number of items. And if I rely on my items, and I know when I run out of items, then I've run out of strategy. So I prefer not rely on items because, so I know I can last indefinitely. So no matter what happens, I can force my way through it. As such, I only use items when m every other strategy isn't working. If I'm going to die, I'm not going to let myself die. I'm going to use an item. But at the same time, I still don't make strategies around using an item, so even now, the only items you're going to see me using are the health items, and that's usually only as a last resort, i.e. I'm going to die if I don't. So, that said, uh, my uh, hands are starting to cramp up a little bit. Uh, give me a second, uh, folks. Okay, it's not going away, uh, it's just not going to happen. So, let's go on anyway. What do I have at my disposal? Equipment-wise, I have Lucky Cat equipped. Thief's Glove isn't going to help. Um, in fact, the Thief's Glove, um, I haven't actually mentioned it at all, but you can use the Thief's Glove even when Isun isn't big. You draw a line from Ami's nose, where Isun usually resides, to the enemy. And, uh, that's kind of neat. And the more you use it, the more it powers up, and if you use it, like, a billion times, it becomes the most powerful weapon in the game. Personally, I don't have the free time to sit here and use it a billion times, and, um, it soon annoys me anyway. Well, kind of. He comes and goes. He's kind of... He's lovable, but, uh, annoying at the same time. Uh, we got that. We got the Peace Bell, which I don't care about. Fire Tablet, which, um, it says protects you from fire, and... It uh, doesn't actually protect you from fire, and we're not going to have any fire in this next match anyway. So, full life. 
Full life, full godhood. Round 10. So who do we fight in round 10? Three Noggies. Now, the trick to this fight, as I've found, is, um, run like mad. Every one of them is going to use a sword, that stupid sword attack, every second he gets the chance to use it. But focus, 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 focus on one. I've already gotten hit twice. Because there's just so many bloody swords around. The reason I said to bum rush him when I um, said to fight him originally, I'm already out of godhood and I'm already down a quarter of my total life. The reason I said to bum rush him originally, though, is to get him to not use his sword attack. Got a level of godhood back and I'm all. Ah, uh, crap, 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 crap.
I'll attack whichever one of you I can, to be honest. I'm at the point right now where I just want you dead. And now that I can actually realistically dodge you, I can worry about knocking the swords back, which is a much favorable uh, strategy, to be honest. It just requires having ink when I already had none. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. No. You wanna land so I can hit you? I like it when I knock them out of the sword thing. I really like that. That's probably the most favorable of options. When it works! Run a little faster! Thank you! I didn't hit all of them. I think I hit most of them. Missed one. Landing. Should I be focusing on one? Yes. But I'm actually uh, feeling pretty good about my chances now that I've gotten rid of one then I'll just attack whichever one I can. For Pete's sake. One of you want to stop dodge rolling or something? Oh, crap. Yeah, that's what I get for not paying attention. Dang it, let me move, let me move! Oh, apparently you were doing it too, okay. I got hit, I'm uh, running a little low on Godhood. Requires me, uh, them not dodge. Bloody dodge rolling anymore. Crap. And it also requires me paying attention to my ink meter. So that doesn't happen. Well, come on, you're not supposed to hit me when I'm going that fast! Nope, not gonna work. Not gonna work! I see you over there, doing your thing with your swords. Hit me there. Come on, I missed every bloody sword. Okay, you're almost dead as soon as you're done dodge rolling here. Completely wasted a uh, veil of mist. C come on!
down or something, go down! I missed everyone. I missed every. Give me a little bit of ink back. Come on! That's one less. No, actually, no, it didn't work at all. Where's the one that's almost dead? Which one of you is almost dead? Go down, go down, go down, go down. Ha ha! Round 10 completed. Hardest demon gate in the game completed. In fact, the hardest fight in the game. Now, I do understand, before everybody starts harping on me about it, that I did make this a lot harder on myself than I needed to. As I mentioned, it's my use of items. In fact, I have, and I have plenty of them, somewhere, Exorcism slips. Using those, going through a whole stack of them, will do a great deal of damage. And for all that nightmarish crap, we get bead 79. But to be honest, I could have cheated that battle. I mean, if I went in with a hundred, and I've got plenty of money, if I went in with a hundred of the uh, exorcism, the large exorcism slips, I could have just spammed them until he died. But to be perfectly honest, that's an easier way. It's cheap. In my own opinion, that's kind of a cowardly way to fight him. So, heaven help me, I don't care how angry I get. I don't care how hard it is. I'm beating this crap like a man. done, though. Which means we still have a couple more stray beads to get. And rest assured, none of them are this hard. <laughs>